What's in this cave down here? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. You're in it, aren't you? It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Ah, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. <sighs> Damn it. Everyone's talking about Firewatch. Or at least they will be in about two weeks' time. So to get you ahead of the curve, why should you care about what is almost quite literally one of PS4's hottest games? Well, I'm Dan Dawkins for Games Radar, and I'm joined by Ben Tyra, staff writer on OPM magazine. Ben, what is Firewatch? So, at its core, Firewatch is a walk and talk simulator. You are out in the Wyoming wilderness doing your job, looking out for fires. But while doing that, you're building up a relationship with your boss, Delilah, who is never on screen, is always at the end of a walkie-talkie. You think you'll take to it? Being out here? So you're walking about, doing menial tasks, but you're always excited. It's, it's so ridiculous. There's, there's, no, there's no guns. I'm walking around a forest with a middle-aged woman, and I do perform menial tasks. Where's the sass here? Like, what? <laughs> so the secret source is all in uh, the relationship between the characters. It's one of the most well-written games on any console. And the way... Uh, the writers have built up this relationship which draws you in very slowly. You get hooked, so you don't really notice that you're picking up beer cans or you're chasing uh, skinny dipping teens out of a lake because you're fully invested in seeing how these characters talk about their lives. Full stereo! Whoa! Hey, put that down! Uh, seriously, it was expensive! Yeah, well, out here, fireworks aren't just stupid, they're illegal. So, like, I mean, I saw... Kieran Gillen, who's the Marvel Comics writer currently panning the Darth Vader comics, um, he was talking about playing an early version of the game, saying that he felt like morally it had made it examine certain things about himself, and he felt like that was kind of like one of the key roles of, of great games, of interesting games. And like, do you think there's this moral aspect to it that's interesting? And if there is, that doesn't sound like you know what I'd usually play, and that's shooting people in the face. There's definitely a moral aspect to it, and there's the game's very clever in not presenting these moral. Uh, objectives as very binary. Uh, you're introduced to Henry, the character you play, in a very difficult 15 minute introduction, which um, I think will make a lot of people sort of take notice of the game. But as you go through, you don't really realize you're making choices and they never affect the story in a way you might affect a story in a David Cage game. Mm -hmm. It's just done under the surface until you're left thinking hang on, this has all led to this point. Oh, right. It's really, really subtle in a way that even Telltale's best stuff doesn't tend to be. So who does this game appeal to? Uh, definitely fans of um, Telltale's older stuff, so stuff like The Walking Dead, The Wolf Among Us, and also fans of Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. But don't let that put you off because it's also a visually phenomenal game. You can take a screenshot of any moment in that game and it will look utterly gorgeous. And it's, uh, isn't the art style being designed by Ollie Moss? He, it has been, yep. Um, and you can really get that sense. It's got a very slightly cartoony vibe to it, which mm. really, really gives it an identity that a lot of uh, other walking simulators don't who go for the very realistic route. Is that on PS4, Ben? Yep, PS4 and PC as well. How many quids and or dollars is it? It's not been announced yet, um, but I'd imagine in the 20 to 30 pound ball mark. With you, so not quite a full price game. So that's Firewatch. It's coming out at a time in early February where there's not really a lot of big games around, not a lot of AAA buying for your dollar. If you want a different experience, an interesting experience, do check it out. Uh, and do read more about it on the site and subscribe to the channel for more good words about nice things. Uh, somebody cut the comms. What? I'm out here and the wire is cut clean through. Wait, you're already there? You're not in your tower? No, I'm not. Then who is? 